gals. Today we'll be talking about a horror anthology movie. And there's going to be one more after this. Or even before this. Well, anyway. Um, I'm going to talk about this movie called Telegram. This was a movie back in the days. I remember seeing the poster for this. And the video store that had it never had the movie. Isn't it kind of funny? Back in the days, had the movie poster, but don't do not have the movie. How the fuck? How the fuck a video store do that to me? But I remember like liking the cover for it. It was like some crazy guy with a drill. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? But now I finally had a chance to see the movie today. Really good wraparound too. I mean, it's, you got James Old Jones' voice doing the narration. And that, that, come on, man. James Earl Jones' voiceover is epic. Even his movies are epic anyway. But still, he plays like the voice of Retribution. Oh, God, for example, I would say. And he says, it's like, it like he sent this delivery guy to deliver a package to three different individuals in three of the different stories, and they have to sign. And each of the packages will represent the story, you know? Like, the first story is my favorite because it's about this director, right? And he likes to direct horror movies. And he has this vision how women women should be perceived, perceived in horror movies. Like, you know, they always like the victim most of, most of the time. You know, let's say, like, we see movies now, like, the women always like the victim, you know, in a horror movie. And um, they just, like, they mostly, they, they play, like, helpless victims. Now, when the director ended up taking this dr his drug, right, and I want to ruin too much. Because, you know, how uh, when I review a horror anthology, I don't like to ruin stuff, you know. But... The guy ended up taking his heroin, and then let's just say, I don't know if it was in the real world or another world, I, I, I don't want to spoil that moment, but in every in, in this world, it's the male that played the victim this time, and all the women kind of play like the guy role, like kind of like the guy type of role, like the women will be like, say, hey, how you doing baby, you know how guys say, hey baby, how you doing when they look at women, or well, the women plays the opposite, like I said, when the women look at guys in a sexual object kind of way, you know. So now he's getting, now he's going to be treated how how women be treated by guys googling them or how they perceive them as. So he's getting his treatment, and every scene in the movie that he directed, he's like pretty much part of it in a way, I would say. But um, that story was really good, you know. And in the second story, you got this news anchor who hit this kid. And I don't know if the second story would be based on something like from Creepshow Part 2 with the hit and run segment. I don't know which one came first, but to me, both of them was done well in my opinion. But especially this one, Telegram. This woman hit a kid, killed her by accident, and she didn't want to take the blame. She didn't want to say nothing about it because she was afraid that she might get arrested by the cops. So she ran off pretty much. And um, pretty much the delivery guy that delivered the package gave her a package. And it was pretty much the jack in the box that the kid was holding, the toy. So now she got the jack in the box, and of course, take a guess, hunted, hunted imagery from the death of from the child, kind of like a, he's kind of like zombie like now, hunted this woman, you know, scaring her, you know. And I like the segment in this one too, you know, especially when he was sinning and stuff, and um, that the woman's getting all scared, like, and then you know, she admit, she tried to admit that the kid was an accident, but the kid ain't having it, like you kill me, you didn't say nothing, pretty much, you know. And then we get your third segment, which was kind of nice, which was like a nice segment, but it was kind of like a payback, as a bitch type of segment, like, like about this guy, like he's kind of like a, a kind of like you find like he's kind of like a bad bad father type of guy, which you find like in the storyline how he sounded like in the scene, and um, then mysteriously he gets this package, he has this flashback about how these hippies protest against the war, and. Um, he kind of like set one of the guys up, one of the hippies up, and he and then he got caught, and he has no choice about to go to war. And once he gets this package, reading this diary of the guy that he sent to war, you know, the guy actually came to him like in a zombie-like form, and he started teaching that guy a lesson, like you know what, now you gonna know how it feels what I went through to Vietnam, and what happened to Vietnam. He got through the same experience, teaching him a lesson, pretty much. And then you get to your uh, wrap around pretty much J. Joe Jones talking about about this about about your retribution and stuff. And all of this a fast forward. Telegram, highly enjoyed it. Definitely a good movie speaking for me. You know, I know it's nineteen eighty eight and you know how commercialized people are in, in the the two thousand never are. Like just like, oh that's cheap, but no, this movie was good, okay, speaking for me. If you like horror, you like a thousand horror, this is definitely for you.
Peace, guys. I'll see you later.